Hello everybody, welcome back to next episode of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we continue riding on with my old newly horse, Rex. <laughs> Still gonna take me a while to say, um, Rex and say Coco. Uh, we came all the way over here to Zelda Bridge Table. Met a guy that says there is a man-made, um, cliff face in the distance and we are heading off to investigate here in the Gru Highlands. That's the reason why I'm in Gru Highlands. So anyways, let's go ahead and speed up and get over there. Um, I don't really know what else to say besides, oh hey, we're just going to get this right and get the heck out of Guru Highlands because this is the final shrine here in Guru Highlands so we don't have to come here to this snowy place ever again. However, it's not the last snowy place because there are two more snowy locations that we have not read into. We've seen one in the distance, but yeah. There are two snowy areas which we are going to see indefinitely and one of them, I'm not looking forward to because there are a lot of rhymes in that location. And plus, I just don't like it in general. It's very pretty, but I kind of don't like it in general. I, I, I'm just rambling on at this point. Anyways, let's go ahead and climb up. Climb, climb, climb. There we are. Yeah, how close are we? We're relatively close. We're relatively close. She be able to see us soon. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh, hi. Oh wait, 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 wait. That's right. I got five weapon. I got five weapon. Um, where I was from, Koras. Get out of here! I don't want your fine business. Alright, but yeah, there is the thing. This one is really simple. Wait. I hear floor is. Where is it actually floor is? I don't see a dragon. I don't see floor is. Uh There he is. Uh, I just missed him. Anyways, what you are supposed to do is grab a shock air and hit the pestle. That's what you're supposed to do is hit the pestle. I completely missed it. I completely miss Florence. This is a sad day. Alright, but no, seriously, you are supposed to hit the pestle and. Oh god. There we are! Jeez! I had to hit the central of the pestle. That's what you are supposed to do. And there's a shrine. What they intend you to do is to glide up on the um, updraft and just shoot your arrow, but I was just short. So I had to be on ground in order to hit. Jesus Christ! If I was just a few inches, I would have been on top of the shrine. Jesus. Anyways, there we are. We are got our shrine quest done. So let's go ahead and activate this shrine. I miss its name, by the way. And let's go in. Two episodes in a row, and we are already starting off with shrines right off the bat. Anyways, we got a blessed shrine. This is. Kanga Yoka. Kanga Yoka. Okay. <laughs> I look at how every time I say their name, I'm just going, okay. Every damn time. I'm just like, cool. Hey, 
Dude, we got a diamond. Awesome. Oh, shoot. That's right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. If we want no reason why of that reaction, because I forgot to go to Guru Town for one thing. To show off one damn thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our sparrow. And I'll go ahead and meet you guys at Guru Town. See you in a bit. But yeah, the reason why I want to come back here to Guru the Town is because there is one thing I have not mentioned. Um, where I was from our car sees the um two two weapons I got from Rajang. Um the the Guru Sword, whatever it was called, and the Daybreaker. They both got broken. If you wanna know. If they ever get broken, come back here and talk to Bimima. Or however you pronounce her name once again. A lot has happened, but we are truly in debt to you. The champion's arms are treasure of the group, much like the uh, Thunder Helm. If anything has to them, you must let me know immediately. About that? Oh. What did you say? You lost not only Daybreaker, but the Scepter of the Seven as well? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I can't believe you are such a lost and precious weapon entrusted you by the Chief, no less. I, shall be, I shouldn't be surprised. I suppose nothing is accomplished by discussing it further. I'm sure they protected their master. Well, do you want me to make you new ones for you? I think I have mentioned this before, but um, if you talk to her any time when the weapons get broken, you can come back to her and get them fixed. However, they do cost some material. Let's do the scepter of the seven. Scepter of seven, huh? To make it, I'll need one diamond, five pieces of flint, and Gerudo scepter. I don't believe I have Guru Scepter. Okay, okay. Um, oh. in order to get the Daybreaker. God damn it. I can't believe I have to go through this whole dialogue in order to actually get the option for the, for the, for the weapons. Oh. If that one of them is not a weapon, it's more or less a shield. I guess I, I should call them what she calls them, arms. Daybreaker, in order to make Daybreaker, she needs one diamond, five pieces of flint, and Guru shield. However, I don't have a Guru shield. That was sucks. Uh, so anyways, that's... I didn't mean to put my weapon. Uh, let's see here. I... Oh, wow. Yeah, I definitely don't have Guru Sword. I used to have one, but I don't remember when I got broken. Alright, so I'll... Actually, I'm just going to do this on my own time. I'm going to do this on my own time. I don't want to show you guys the progress of getting the um the Daybreaker and the Scepter of the Seven. So I'll just head over back to the, back to the stable. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Alright, we're back over to the stable well a little ways away from it and let's go and talk to this guy. Hey. See what he says. Well unknown young man. I'm looking for a little something to please my classy. So I spent my time glazing into the horizon. Okay, so you got nothing more to say. I really wish you can um get something from the people that give you the um give you a a uh, stable quest. Uh there's not really new I want to do here at the stable. So that look for look at this recipe I guess. Oh and talk to Beetle. Oh there's Oh oh this guy is important. Ah uh, great fairy. Oh pardon me, I was lost in thought. You heard of the Great Fair, right? The one from all those old stories? <laughs> well, they're not just story. I believe Great Fair is real and I'm on a journey to find her. 
There's a town just beyond the Tapped Out Great Bridge. They say if you go top and look around, something in the sometime in the afternoon, the top shot will point to the Great Fairy Fountain. Uh, after he and Leisure decided to find out for myself, but knives I care at the stable because, well, no matter how I try, I just know I'll never be able to climb that tower. And to think I even spent all, saved all my rubies as an offering for the great fairy. But you, you look like you can climb that tower with the breaking sweat. You, will you be willing to make an offering of ruby to the great fairy on my behalf? I'll do it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Uh, thanks. Just please don't go around with it, okay? <laughs> He'd say that as soon as I'm going to spend yeah. almost all of it on, 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 um, on Beetle. <laughs> because I want to get arrows. Uh, yeah. Hey, yes, yes, I know you're out of them, Beetle. I just, I'm so trigger happy. Yeah, I spent pretty much half of those 500 rubies. That's amazing. Oh, and let's start this guy. We haven't speak to him in a while. Cause see, he got important stuff. Hey, we make it. Are you out of there as well? I travel all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture, show it to me. Ah, these are ancient columns. If you cross the Tapta Great Bridge over there, there's a large cliff to the south. The ruins are on top of that cliff. Huh, okay. I recall that shrine you can see on the right there too, so I'm pretty certain that's the place. Alright, that's cool. We have talked to him while we haven't got any advice to him for a new memory, so it's like, might as well, might as well do it. I've done it in a while. So anyways, as he says, let's go ahead and pass a great tap the bridge and continue on our memory. Uh, for the tap the region, that's the tower that we want to get to. So anyways, let's go over there right now. Well, not right now, because there is probably going to take a while before we get to that tower. Yeah. But yeah, there's a ancient columns all the way up there. And the Shika sensor should be activating up soon. Once we get closer. Oh, and here comes the awesome music. Oh, yep, Shika sensor has activated. Also, we have ran into a new enemy. And also, some keys. Might as well get rid of these, key these keys. Uh, this weapon has master ability. Let's use one of the royal bra swords. Get review, get review. But yeah, say hello to that one of my favorite enemies, the Guardian Wa Skywatcher. This enemy is. I don't know if I should find him tougher than a normal Guardian Stalker, but as you can see, they are flying around, they are basically patrolling. Also, the music spike up just scared the living piss out of me. Uh, we can either run across, cross, and hopefully he doesn't notice me, but I don't want to do that. I won't. Are you shaming me? Get out of here! What the fuck? Ow! Piss! Piss you off. That was not pleasant. That was not a pleasant. Uh, first up, you get uh, then a couple of stout Lizafos. Oh, there are two guard stalkers. Or not stalkers, skywatchers. Oh, this is going to be bad. <sighs> also, uh, also, you know what? I'm going to do this. We haven't done this in a long time. Let's see. Let's read their description. The Shika of ancient Haru developed this as a weapon to combat combat 
understanding. This fly model is impenetrable over the walking type, capable of either attacking or serving from the air. Destroy propellers well grounded. Best way to get rid of the propellers is to blast them with um with a ancient arrows. It will get rid of them instant. But I really hate these scarring stalkers. Cause you can see they are for trying quite a uh, quite swoop swoop. You can either try to um try to uh, shield bash their lasers, but once you do, if you, once you do it once, they start wobbling back and forth, and then it'll be even ha harder to successfully shield bash their lasers right back at their faces. They are really annoying. So yeah, most of the time, whenever I see them, also, I really understand that at the worst time possible. Uh, shoot. Do I have any stamina recovery? I do not. I don't have anything for temporary stamina. That sucks. As you can see, I have used up a lot of my food in my farming time. And I also made a lot of food. Um, after I use up some of those foods already. Reason why I'm trying to get above is so that I can successfully sneak past those guardians. And I'm pretty sure even with, um, I'm pretty sure they won't fire at rats at all. Like, they'll probably see rats, but... I don't know. I have never tested it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get up here successfully. Oh, there's a cork up here. Uh, I'm gonna get this core. up. I'm gonna get this core right here. But yeah, there's a tower all the way over there. Whoa, hello, that scared me. Jesus. It's like, no matter how many times I played this game, everything says scares me. Okay, this one's gonna be circling around me, so I might as well wait for it. Damn it, I missed. Patience, patience. There we are. All right, where's the oh, where's the third one? Oh, hey, look at that. Look who's in the background that I can't get to, cause he's too far away from me. Oh, there's one more? Where is it? There it is. Also, my night bow is almost broken. That bow went through it. That air went through it. There we are. Seriously, how many do I have to shoot? There it is. This is last one. Good. There we are, jeez. I really hate those, um, those things. Because you got to use so many arrows. Um, but so many arrows as long as you don't miss. Uh. Where are those, those skywashers? I said, I thought there were two of them. I thought there was two of them. Wait. Wait, what? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Skywasher is suddenly like vanish. It's gone. Ah. Uh, Okay. Cool. Get out of here. I don't want your fight business. Let's just go ahead and call Rex over here so we don't um drive the attention of the Skywalk shirts. Also, I just love to have a horse around wherever um wherever 
we need to travel far distance. I guess there was only one Skywasher? I don't remember. God damn it, I miss you! How did I miss you? You were three feet in front of me! I thought I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to jump off of you. Alright, let's go back on the road. On the road to Reeling City. Well, not really, but you get point. Oh! Oh, cool. Yeah. So ignore me, cool. Yeah. Or just run right from me. Alright, so anyways, let's go ahead over to the shrine. Actually, hold on. Can I, can I ride Coco to the shrine? I really hope I can. That'd be really cool if I can. Uh, there's Emmy right there. I'm gonna ignore him. <laughs> cool. Uh... I don't know if I can. Uh, this is a dead road. There's a road past that, past that buckle. <laughs> come on, come on, Rex, come on, boy. Let's go down. Also, there's a car right there. Um, uh, I guess I have to climb. I guess I'll climb up to the, to the shrine, I guess. Anyways, let's go and get this car because this is an easy one to get. Anyways, he's in my way. Yeah, yeah you found me! Bye bye! Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start climbing because, as I said, I don't remember if there is a pathway for, um, for reps. If there is one, then shoot me in the foot, cause I didn't see it. I was going to say, this looks suspicious. No! 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 Oh, it has to be rainy. It had to be rainy. For fuck's sake, it had to be rainy, damn it. Why are you guys ready to go and get that shrine this episode? Because it's rainy. Lovely. I guess I'll head towards the tower. So I can at least discover this, um, this region. Hey back, Pokemon. See ya. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure this is where I go. For the shrine. Whoa, that was cool. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Just when Red screamed <laughs> in slow motion. That was so cool. But, anyways, the reason why I decided to put an armor. Because that guy, that is an asshole. If you want to know what that enemy is, that is basically a silver Bokobin. Does a lot of damage. He is the strongest version of any Bokobin. So I'm just going to focus on taking him out. Ouch! Well, he does quite a fair amount of damage even on arm. I want to do a fear attack on him because I don't want to send him off the edge. Anyways, there go my um my royal brother. Uh, I'm gonna use this other brother sword. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, that wasn't. Anyways, 
as you can see, several vocal bands or several enemies in general will always drop um drop gems, which is really cool. I'm gonna grab these weapons, cause why not? Alright, go ahead and get all of this, and let's continue on, shall we? I really hope there's not more enemies. There probably will be. As you can see, there's already... We have already found a great fairy for this area. I won't bother with her until we get this tower, because, yeah. I like it tower beforehand. I hear choo-choos. And rocks! Alright, um, Coco, I'm, god damn, you're not Coco, you're Rex. I'm going to move on without you because it's pretty dangerous with you. I didn't mean to pull a fire, I meant to freeze! Ow. <laughs> I just want to do that so I don't have to worry so much. Get review. Jesus, that's quite a lot of weapons. I'm going to take those two if you don't mind. Alright, also without that thing, now we can at least continue on. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It'd be better if I do this. Ow. Shit! They're awake! Shit, they're awake! They don't see me. They don't see me. Because I froze them. They completely forgot who froze them. Ah, even more rocks. Lovely. Alright. Also, the rain's clear up at least, so I can at least go get that shrine if I want. We're getting close to the end of. This ep what the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the hell was that? Oh, that. <laughs> okay, okay, that scared me. I'm like, what the hell was that about? All right. Now, oof. I'm trying to read my how I'm supposed to get up this tower because this tower is a bit of a pain to get up to. Because as you can see, there is cancer all around. Um, let me find that one of those eyeballs. Because there is eyeball for this list bit of cancer. Let's see, where is he? Tap the tower. Cool, cool, cool. Well, what's going on? As I said, is there even a... No. There is... I don't think there isn't even an eyeball for this area. Could be wrong. Anyways, let's go ahead and climb up. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's just hiding. The punk. Alright, let's go and climb up. Also, I'm going to switch gears so I can wear this. I really can't wait until I get the rest of the climber set. So I can climb faster. Which is going to be really good. Oh yeah, that's right. Heavy winds. This is going to really suck. Alright, let's go and get rid of you. There we are. I was going to say. Can I even get him? And by doing that, that damages the column and it falls down, which is really cool. I don't know if you can climb this tower, tower with, like, can you even get on tower without the need of this broken column? Also, that saw I didn't even jump. I didn't jump to grab onto tower. So anyways, let's get on tower, get on top of this tower and end this episode off because I like to at least get this tower out of the way. 
Alright, so let's slowly make our way up. Take a pit stop so I can recover most of my stamina. And also, as you can see, it's getting colder and colder that higher up, which kind of sucks. But that's climate change. Is it? No, it's not climate change. We're getting closer and closer to the atmosphere of the of the world. Alright, so let's just continue going, I guess. And take a look at this beauty of landscape. I don't care what people say. I love Breath of the Wild because solely because of the landscape. Seriously, it's just it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I never get tired of this game because of the world. Anyways, let's enough talking and get this shrine out of the way. She could slate, she could tie activated. Stanley area. Yeah, I decide to not do it anymore because it's kind of getting, kind of getting, um, getting annoying. Plus, I, I'm tired of doing it. Anyways, here's the tap that region. Pretty small in comparison to the rest of the game. Pretty small. The reason why I say it's small comparison, because right here, right here, this is a chasm. Basically, endless abyss. We can't go further. That we can't go further than right here. Basically, if we try to, the game will just go like, eh, nope, can't go further. So anyways, I'll see you guys this time when we go over to the Great Fair right there. So I'll see you guys next time for that. Bye.